Hey guys, Jason here. In today's video, we're diving into the world of AI and revealing the top five free AI tools that are revolutionizing CNC design. Whether you're just starting out or an experienced maker, these tools are going to be a game changer for your projects. They're easy to use, incredibly powerful, and best of all, they're free. Before we dive in, don't forget to take advantage of our discounts on Jenny Bits, Pawn CNC, and Corfco products. Just use the code TIMBERFALLS at checkout. I have all the links and details in the description below. And with that, let's get started. Number one, Microsoft Bing Image Creator. Our first tool is the Microsoft Bing Image Creator. This tool is super powerful because it gives you the ability to create any kind of image just from a text. I have found that creating images with the Microsoft Bing Image Creator come out extremely detailed. They're high quality and they're easy to convert to SVG or to an STL or relief model. You just type in what you're looking for and it will create a picture for you. I think the more detailed the description, the better these come out. And you could play around with the wording to get different effects. To use one of these, you only need to download it. Then you can easily import these in using the relief import and import function. And they make a very nice 3D STL model. Number two, Canva. Canva is a great graphical design program that allows you to easily create and manipulate photographs and edit them easily. You can start with their many templates and styles or you can design your own. They also have a magic media that uses AI to create a photograph from text just like the Bing and Dolly 3 and we'll generate an image. Now that the AI has created our photo we can import this photo and set it as our background. One of the other cool features in Canva is the Magic Edit tool. This tool allows you to take an area of the photograph and make changes based on text. We take our car and I'm just gonna go around and highlight all the area around this car. And the description I'm gonna tell it, give the background a mountain roadway and rolling hills and the AI will regenerate our image with different backgrounds. Number three, Pixel Cut AI Image Upscaler. This tool allows you to upload an image. Basically, it just makes the image much cleaner and sharper. This is a great tool for taking any kind of photograph, creating a high resolution out of a low resolution photo. I have these two images right next to each other and you can see the quality difference from the original photograph to the one that the upscaler made. And then you would just use your bitmap to image tool to create your vectors from this image. Number four, the Marigold Depth Estimator and 3D Depth Map Tool. To use this tool, you just need to drop an image into the Depth Estimator and use Compute Depth. This will create both a color and a black and white depth map of the image. You can use these depth maps to help generate STL models within CarveCo. Just know that the light colors will be raised high and the dark colors will be lowered. So if you want to import this, it would be better to swap the colors or invert the colors. At the bottom of this page is also the 3D printing depth map tool. You can play around with some of the different settings, but it will create a STL model based on the, the image that it has. Now these STL models are somewhat rough, but they make good bases to create 3D models from, especially in CarveCo Maker Plus. Number five, Inkscape. While our last tool is not exactly an AI tool, it does mimic behaviors of some of the other AI tools, and I think it's worth showing. One of the great things about Inkscape is its trace bitmap tool. This is very similar to the trace bitmap tool found in CarveCo, but the trace bitmap tool in Inkscape has quite a few more options. If you go to Path and click on the Trace Bitmap tab, it will open up this trace bitmap button over here. 
Now you have to have the picture selected. And there's three different types of scans that it can do. A single scan, a multicolor, and a pixel art. The single scan has a couple of different types of scans, a brightness cutoff, edge detection, color quantization, and auto trace and auto trace center mode. I have found that, and you can play with these different sliders that will give it the different increasing effects of tracing your bitmap. And then you only need to press apply and then drag this out. Now this has created a SVG or vector graphics of my photo. All we have to do now is export this SVG out and we can import that into Carfco. We just go to our export tab. We change the type to Inkscape SVG and we would press export. And this is gonna save it to our computer. To import it in, you just go to Carfco Go to vectors and press import. A lot of times it's going to give you this error and that's quite okay. And if you say okay, it looks like it didn't do anything. But if you zoom out, that vector is right here. I can press F9 and bring it to the center. And then we also can transform it down to the correct size. And here we go, a vector of that image. Guys, if you find this content valuable, share this with someone. Give us a like and consider subscribing. Until the next one, let's make bit happen.